What tea am I having? asks Atomic Aliens. I'm having a cup of Assam tonight. I also had a cup of Assam at the beginning of the stream as well. Uh, let's have a quick check through chat. Uh, it took way too long to realize that I have extremes. Woohoo! <laughs> Hello, Daznal. Welcome to the stream, mate. Um, I did peek into the underground passage very briefly. Over here. Uh, I don't know where that unit went afterwards, but here is the underground passage. There seems to be all sorts of things going on down there. At least one of them is this uh, area. Is this uh, uh, kingdom. I'm thinking it might be cool to go down there and try and make our own kingdom. In the underground. Uh, is this single player or multi? This is single player. I'm learning the game at the moment, Wilson. But yeah, they're, they're, oh, if you're asking, is the game multiplayer or single player? It is um, also, uh, you know, you can have multiplayer games. All right. Jilly Beanie, thank you very, very much for the 40 months. Hi, I'm back in chat. Long time no see. It has been a while. And it's been a very long time that you've been supporting the channel. Thank you so much. Do you need that mole people trait to make the underground useful? I do not know. Um, but that is good information. Uh, hopefully I can figure it out. All right. So received a trade proposal from whom? Okay. Uh, they ask us, uh, of us, Wizards Bond. Both rulers agree to a Wizards Bond to improve Empire relations and ac access new treaties in diplomatic states. Okay, the throne city of each will be revealed. Alright. Leads to defensive pact, open borders, province claiming pact, and teleporter pact. Hmm. The value is equal for us. Um, Alright, are you at war with anyone? You're at peace with pretty much everyone. Okay, I will I will accept. It's a deal. You're basically a uh, seducer, so I'm not too worried that you're going to break uh, break a, a treaty here. Hey, uh, uh, Bobby Drop Table, it's a pleasure to speak with you. Please, tell me what you need. Uh, nothing right now. Another ruler was denounced. Uh, Sinren... <laughs> Ah, uh, has it damaged the relations? Well, okay, so they, they insulted my empire. Well, I don't care. They're being nice to me. They've declared friendship with me as well. I mean, all of that more or less happened at the same time. We can get a couple new things. We've got access now to adaptive research. Lacking... Uh, locking and shuffling research skills costs 50% less. Res research city structures cost 50% less gold and production to build. We've got unit tier 1 units cost 30% less upkeep. Each city or empire costs, uh, loses one population but immediately summons three tier 1 units. Or we can get an extra whispering stone. Well, the problem with that is I haven't really met any minor factions. They've got outposts all over the place, haven't they? Um, I believe Whispering Stones are required. Yeah, I don't think we need Whispering Stones right now because they are more useful for free cities. At least as far as I understand it. Jelly Beanie, thank you very much for the cheer there. The Ochenvaur. You can give Whispering Stones to your own cities to boost their loyalty until you find a free... Oh, thank you very, very much for Tina Decay. Thank you. We'll go and do that right now. Well, actually, I might not do it here. 
Uh, let's go to the other. Can I go to the other one? Yes. Um, give Whispering Stone. Passively prove this city stability by two per turn, up to a maximum of twenty. Yeah, okay. You may have this. Donk. There we are. Uh, no, I want to do manual production. You may continue on your path. I think I may want to get some more um, explorers out. Oh, that's just annoying that they're so close together. Fine. Oh. Emperor Bobby Drop Table. Your heroine, Bulby the Ponderous, kneels before you, distressed. My little sister, she went dousing for precious stones, yet never returned. She migrated to Albedo when you recruited me. She has been prospecting for precious stones and metals since she was a wee girl, carrying around an oversized dousing rod. Recently, a faraway gold vein caught her attention. Normally, my sister returns with a sizable haul within three days. Today is the eighth day since she left. Bulby the Ponderous's eyes turn misty. Will you help me find my sister, my emperor? I worry for her safety. Let me mark the gold vein on your map. Okay, I will look for your sister. Reward gold and a mystery bonus. All right, don't need you. You can head on down, Tonk. And you can head on in, Tonk. Okay, I would like that quest marked. There we are. All right, all the way down there. Well, it's a bit of a ways, but all right. Now the ruler was denounced. Um. Actually, why don't you go up? Because I'm going to be changing around a couple of things now, so... You two leave. Um, you also leave with them. You can hang tight. I kind of want both of these to move as a group. So in a way, I, I do need a lot more units being made, really. Um, what? <gasps> Gosh! We unlocked animals here. Because we've got the animal sanctuary. I do believe you disabled minor factions, free cities in your map setup. Something, something, desolate world or something like that. I thought that just made them really rare, not completely disabled them, but perhaps it did. Thank you very much for reminding me, though. Gortusk Piglet. Do you evolve? You do evolve into probably a Gortusk. Gortusk Matriarch. I imagine this is going to be true of almost all of them. Hunter Spider, uh, Hunter Spider Matriarch. And you do not. A wag. You do not either. We've got spell shields. Uh, we've also got the soothers. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, let's get another soother. Um, we could put together an animal army to just go clear things out here and there. Pop some things down, sure. Uh, always required. I do want to clear this if I can before I move further down. Sort of combat, back it, and see what we do. We lose our arcane guard. No. Let's retry. Give the wog bionics! <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. I don't know if there's any kind of tech in this game yet. Um, I know that. Uh, I've so often wanted to go back and do another Planetfall playthrough. But with the, like, the undead 
cyborg, borg like Mad Max fusion creatures as my main group. So many times. All right. Skeletons, 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 but don't drop the drink. All right. How far can they move? They're not going to be moving very far. Let's get down here. And you can move up in there. You can be behind. Um, you can summon Conjure Animal or Unleash the Beast. Summon a random tier one animal. I mean, I can just keep summoning them. Dunk. Oh, hey. Or is that once per turn? Uh, yeah, once per battle. Okay, well, that's fine. We've got some Gortusk piglets. Are they... No, they are actually recruits. I wonder if... As a consequence, this character can... Slowly fill an army back out. If they, there was, for some reason, a loss in population. That bloody fire. Why have you done this? Stupid yeah. elementals. Right, I need you to charge up. Right, what? Distracted on you. Because they're di uh, distracted, they're counters flanked even from the front. They're weak to fire because they're skelly bros. Also go for magic blast. That's amazing. Uh, you can go with a quill shot and if we can hit this... Uh, of course we didn't. Bad luck, but oh well. Um, what I would like you to do is move through the burning and just activate the fence. Just don't let many of them through. You're going to be able to attack three times, but you've already been wounded so much that there aren't many of you there to fight. Now there are only two of you. The amount of units in a group does matter. Alright, time for webbing. Let's drop a distraction there. Punk. Perfect. Alright. The charge is blocked currently. Because they're... Def ah, I should have gone for that, actually, on them. Uh, can I move up? It will pull... No. The charge is never really going to be useful against them because they pull them. Uh, let's go for... It's not going to do a lot of damage, but it'll do something. Dunk. Ah. So vexing. It's not quite how I imagine boars would attack, but sure. Right, let's clear you out. Yeah, nice high morale. Now, I believe they are immobilized, are they not? Yeah, immobilized. This unit cannot move for one turn. I could just do some healing then. Sure. Now, you're going to be a bit of a problem when you come through here, but... It is what it is. Ah, oh, crap! They can eat bodies! 
Bloody undead! You're ruining undead! Uh. Yes, that is a giant bone crab. Not made of crabs, though. It's made of a dragon's head as a pincer, and a bunch of bodies, and some sort of clam or something, I think, and then a cage of more body parts on the back. I wish I could zoom in more than this, because it looks amazing from this far away. I can only assume that it is indeed amazing. Um, let's overcharge. I'd like to just soak up all of its temporary hit points. Pretty much take it out. Hey, Vormithrax, how you doing, buddy? Always wonderful to see you and your raiders in chat. You know what to do, Dapplings, put out the ropes. And since it's Vormithrax, put out the nice ones, not the ones that we keep for people that we don't know. We're talking not just the heated robes, but the scented robes, because let's be honest, he's probably playing uh, a game where his character was either A, caked in zombie guts, or B, caked in blood and mud. Uh, he was playing Stalker, so uh, probably more the latter. Blood and mud. Need, need, to, need to get the man a nice comfy place to wrap up in. Warm drink. Tea, obviously. Want to see some teapots along with those robes? Apparently you can click and right-click a unit to see them in better detail. Uh, yes, you can. If you... Oh, that's right, yeah, of course. You click down there. I didn't even think about that to show the, this model, but yeah, look at the model here. This is amazeballs. It looks like something you find on a pirate ship in the Goonies. But I hope uh, Stalker was treating you well tonight, Vormithrax. Chat, if you're not already a Vorm fan, please do take this opportunity to click on the button or the link and drop a follow. More arms equal better hugs. Uh, y yes, we'll go with that. But that is amazing. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be too surprised to see something like this in a Souls-like. Genuinely. <laughs> Uh, let's try and remove you. If I can hit you a couple of times. One, two, there we go. Perfect. Now then. Don't want you doing any shenanigans running around attacking people. So let's just get in there, shall we? And um, chunk. This is a charger. So having it blocked from being able to charge is particularly nice. You're also not going to survive outside of this battle because there isn't enough room. Unless this unit just gets added. I'm fairly certain that we... Let's have a look. Um, tier 1 unit. I'm assuming that it doesn't. Gains killing momentum for 3 turns. Becomes strengthened 2. Uh, I should have done that before it attacked. And that being said... Don't... Let's get you some nice big buffs, shall we? Unleash the beast. Hello. Well, before you kill it, let's just move the quill beast in into the razor back and finish it off with that. Hey, Arbrash. How are you doing, buddy? Pan. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So that, that message came from Arbrash Campachi. Thank you very much for repeating it for me, Emperor Belby. We'll see how things go, though. Oh, what? Wait. What? What? A bunch of skeletons popped out of it? That is amazeballs. Truly. Truly amazing. It, it was indeed carrying spare parts, drop table. That is, in fact, correct. Oh, oh. Who is left to act? Look at the Razorback attack again. 
Oh, apparently you can. There we go. Three. No deaths. Nine souls. Two rewards. 70 uh, production. And a noble Aegis. Okay. So at this point... We could go sword and board. Or I could sell some things. I don't want to. Oh, I disabled because... Oh, whirlwind blade. Oh, is it a two-handed weapon? Ah, oh, no! Okay, lightning orb then. No! Why? It's a tier 2 secondary. I don't understand. Defense against non flanking. Adjacent to the allies have plus 2 defense, etc., etc. Yeah. Tier 2 primary. Disable slot secondary and mount. Uh, I should be reading that, shouldn't I? Uh, okay. And I'm guessing the orb does exactly the same. Disable slot secondary. Okay. Oh, that's an unfortunate one. I'm sure a storm. Thank you very much for the 14 months, mate. And Dunkerton as well for the 21 months. Deal have very own. I think I still like the Whirlwind Blade, honestly. We are more of a ranged unit here, but uh, there's a part of me that feels that maybe I, I could be more than that. Um, oh my god, natural regeneration... Uh, do I not? Ha yeah, I don't have the spider if I have the whirlwind blade. That's a good point, yeah. Dread spider. Whereas I could just go sword and board if I wanted to. With just a regular sword. It would allow me to attack several times. Versus the quick stab from this, which is very good, but once. But I could have the noble Aegis instead. No, I think Lightning Orb for now. I do need to get some better weapons, though. But we did level up, so let's have a look. Uh, defense. Uh, required for defense 2. Archery. Fighting. What level am I? I'm level 4. Sprint. Could be uh, much better at moving around. Also wouldn't have to worry about attacks of opportunity there. But we do now have all of this. And I'm really tempted by this. Um, endurance training requires two more support skills, but if I grab defensive training, it gives all of the units in the armor one defense and one resistance. Um, and strength training gives all of the units in the in the group better um, health overall. I think defensive training is a no-brainer. I didn't even know they were making an Age of Wonders 4. Age of Wonders was one of my favorite games when I was younger. Well, here we are. Age of Wonders 4 it is. And I'm having super amounts of fun so far with it. For what that's worth. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. My bad. I forgot to confirm. Okay. Now I need to get down there to whatever this is. That is a caustic worm and a bunch of three tier twos. One tier three, three tier twos and two tier ones. We've got 20 turns to do with it now, but... Um, let's get you up there as fast as you can, please. They're making some defensive units already. But we're going to need to be on the march. These units are gonna... Well, actually, since they're already making units, I guess they don't need to. Um, I 
No, I actually think I, I would like them to get over there if I can. Uh, right. Now, I don't have the gold to do anything else, so just produce merchandise for now. Just make gold. I do like that you can just make gold. Message received. My rivalry with Rakshagi is no secret. Join me and I will prevail. And we will prevail over her together. Hmm. Rakshagi. I mean, yeah, peace. Not entirely sure where they live. Uh, free cities with wisdom stones assigned. Free cities with oh, vassals with wisdom stones assigned. That, that isn't going to be of any use to me currently. Uh, this will now be used to me, though. So I'm going to pick that up. As that will allow me to give my main city a Whispering Stone. We'll gradually, gradually build that up. Uh, we can annex somewhere else now at Nubis Den. Uh, we've got two farms already. Quarry, perhaps. A mine. I think a mine would be a nice one. Let's go ahead and grab that. We'll work up towards this. Um, we'll uh, this wonder. Spells ready to cast. I could summon a wild animal, I guess. Or I could make most creatures in my army able to inflict soul blind. And I think that's going to be more useful to me immediately. Then after that, I'm going to summon. Oh, actually, no. Soul blind it is. Let's go for that one. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Sounds so bad. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I kind of want to take a road up there. Can I get roads? Road building. Okay. I will do that with this unit. I'm going to start building roads up towards this city so that I can easily move between them. What does a Whispering Stone do? Um, whispering Stones... Uh, kind of think of them as, as giving someone your number, in a way. Um, they generally have, like, diplomatic impacts that seem to imply that we're in better state of communication with free cities, so, like, um, non-empire cities. But also, if you put them in your own uh, cities, they j gradually increase loyalty. So, I think it's kind of a... I think it's kind of a an idea for it to be along the lines that you're communicating or keeping an eye on on people more, or you know, whispering ideas to them. You know, bigging yourself up. That's the impression I got. Does it tell me uh, fertile road? Nope. What about there? Road. Okay, so that one does have a road, so I can move up to here. And then from there on the next turn, start drawing out. Oh, there we go. We're in the uh, underground. Briefly. How did. What? How did you just. What? Okay, fair enough. 
The world is slowly forming over time. I honestly think this map type is amazing because of this. Right. Spell's ready to launch. Oh, I actually uh, cast both of them. Nice. Um... Also, I'd like to cast that one, but let's go for it. Tunk. Enchant. Basically, our non-mystic units just gained a, a benefit. Oh, sorry, no. Um, our mystic units gained the ability to use soulbind on enemies. Uh, wild animal. What would I like this to cast? Ah, oh, we got a hunter spider. Nice. Come in here. We want to make road building a thing we can do. Costs us a little bit of cash everywhere we go, but that's fine. Get done there. I'm going to turn this army on to road building. Or at least I was assuming to. There we go. And then they can start making their way up in a moment. Let's get you over there. Get you down. And this one, I'm assuming, can now build a road up here. Yep, there we go. I really like that. That's actually a pretty cool ability. And I'm going to have this group just build this road all the way over to my new city. So we've got a, a guardsman there. I, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. The thing I like the most is that when we made a minor transformation, suddenly all of my goblins had fur on their arms. Truly marvelous. Scroll of attunement. Um. Okay. Soul overflow. Call of the wild. All friendly animals and cavalries gain plus two bolstered defense. And. Um, Plus one strengthened, or magic shield. I want to shuffle research, honestly. Hey, Gary, how you doing, mate? Blub blub to you, buddy. Chat, if you're not familiar with Gary, a fantastic content creator, a prolific content creator, in fact. Got a lot of wonderful series that you can check out both uh, live by following his Twitch channel using the... Uh, Link the Demi of Drop is no doubt about to uh, pop up in chat for you, and also you can check out their YouTube channel where they keep a lot of their vods. Thank you very much, Demi. Tired, but enjoyed Age of Wonders for a lot as well. Yeah, it is a really, really fantastic game. I am enjoying it enormously currently. Now, what does that exclamation mark mean? I wonder. I am doing well. Thank you very much for asking me. Oh, it means it's discounted. Ah, okay, that's cool. Ah, yeah, I see. Discounted down to 180. Um, I mean, this is all animals and cavalries gain this. It's, this isn't even, like, within a certain hex. So that's actually kind of a potent spell, really, when you think about it. Uh, I want you to just fortify here. Anubis Den is currently still focusing on making money. But... Uh, I would like them to get more mana, because we're losing mana right now. Uh, also getting some more money would be quite nice, too. In fact, I'm sort of feeling that might be the better option to go for. I need to get a Forester up and running as well. Mm, let's go for the money first. Right. A, an infestation is sending 
invasion forces. Okay, so we're going to get some uh, creatures coming our way from there. Another ruler was denounced. Rakshagi has crossed me. Okay, they're all starting to dislike Rakshagi. That doesn't surprise me too much, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Uh, we can annex another province down here as well, which is always glorious to do. Let's have a look at the provinces around here. Nothing much there, nothing much there. Uh, I mean, there's something over here, I guess. There is an iron deposit, and if I clear it out, then I can gain access to that. Um, so... But what I wouldn't give for a conduit. But since we need a bit of cash... Go ahead and get a mine over here. Uh, what is required? I can swing down that way. There's the wildlife sanctuary we built. Uh, prior to this, I played like a tutorial game uh, for about two hours, and then we, I, I allowed chat to have a very strong influence on what kind of cr uh, race we made for this run. Ended up going with Mystics, which I was already a little bit familiar with because that was uh, the race that I'd made previously. Um, but other than that, yeah, this is, this is all new. I've, I've had the game for about two weeks, but I was uh, nursing... Nursing a case of COVID Arcturus. Unknow unknown to me at the time. My girlfriend just had crazy conjunctivitis out of nowhere. And uh, then that turned into sinus infection, sore throat, and then chest infection. It was like, yeah, this is more than just, you know, a back, uh, sorry, a viral infection in the eyes. Uh, also, where would you even got that from? Uh, yeah, it turns out. Turns out. Fun times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was it was rough. It was it was rough. At one point, uh, at one point, blood in tears levels of rough. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the greatest. I'm gonna be honest with you, but uh, so that's why there has not been too much going going on for the last two weeks, sadly. Uh, right, need you guys over here. You can go up and merge. Let's get you to continue onwards. Honestly, you can just go up the, along the road on it uh, over here, really. Go ahead. Road builders. Yeah, I'm for better or worse. Uh, so far, I've been quite asymptomatic when it's come to COVID. I get a bit of a headache for a while, but other than that, I, I mostly get by unscathed. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some exception at some point, but. So far, touch wood. Right, how many peeps have we got in here? Three more turns on a soother, which I would very much like to have. One more turn on a stone conjurer. Then... Hmm, Caltrop stash. A granary would be very nice. A wizard tower foundation would probably be good, but... Um, I need the conduits, really. Uh, let's get some more money coming in. But yeah, there is a, there is a, a new variant of interest going around, for those who haven't already heard, uh, called COVID Arcturus, and it, it presents with very, very similar... Um, symptoms to conjunctivitis, so like you know, bloodshot eyes, uh, and it's yeah, it's just COVID. <laughs> it's like ah, oh, great. It's apparently a bit more communicable than Omicron, so it's doing the rounds. But yeah. Also, can we just t take a take a moment to just appreciate how badass of a name, COVID Arcturus. <laughs> As far as variants go, Arcturus, really? Wow. That is a pretty amazing sounding name. Uh, right. 
Let's get you into enchantments. Here we go. So our elemental... Yeah, no, that would actually be quite good. Let's get uh, their ability to use the... Uh, I actually forget the name of the ability. Let me quickly have a look. We go in there. Star Blades. So they get more damaging as the more the spells are cast. Right then. You can go and connect up. Armies merged. Nice. They can just guard there now. Uh, but into the list of armies pending orders. No, I just want him to guard. This is not too bad. It's two puppers and a hound. We can deal with that. Got to clear them up. Starblades are quite good. I had to fight against that in my run. My poor druid dwarves. Oh no, druid dwarves. Omicron is also a good name, yeah. And yes, Ashura Storm. COVID does seem to be following a general pattern of more infectious but le less lethal. Yes, very much so. Uh, as your troops engage the group of fiends, it becomes apparent that they had been conjuring a portal to withdraw. The Infernal Hound, the apparent leader of the gathering, casts a shrewd eye over your army. Seeing that there is scant hope of survival, it beckons its own troops to sit on the ground and submit before following suit itself. It watches you with weary hope. Will you allow them to summon their portal to uh, Oberdoth and leave these lands? Kill them all! Or, be gone then, fiends, and do not return. This would, I think, start moving me in the good alignment. Or, bind the Infernal Hound to you. <laughs> I don't have enough mana. <laughs> Sucky. Uh, Alright, you can go. God damn it. Uh, and that was the Infernal Hound as well. That was the uh, Elder version. But recent events and no recent evil actions have given me plus fives. But, you know, we're ritual cannibals, so minus ten, flat out. We're becoming good gobbles. We only eat bad people. We do eat people, but only when they deserve it. Okay, so that makes us good. Pretty sure that's how it works. Pretty much do exactly the same here. This gives them a little bit more time. Uh, you to start with. Foreign Wonders. Your Builder's Guild at Albedo requests your support. The apprentices from our guild are crestfallen, their master craftsman exclaims. On their journeys through the empire of Reina the Golden, they have witnessed the elaborate workmanship and monumental buildings in Editon. Now they dream of equal grandeur, but our own means are limited. Will you back up their ambitions to increase productivity in Albedo? Um... Sure, actually. Or vow to attract more workers. Uh, I would sooner pay 54 Imperium to gain an extra person there. Uh, yeah. Okay, message received. I have been pondering the many allies and enemies I have in this realm. I am glad that you seem to be one of the former. Let us try to bring our empires closer. I can't do that. I don't have the money for it. I am rather poor. Uh, defensive pact, treaties. Your assets, there. Uh, treaties. Open borders, province claiming pact. Defensive pact, a diplomatic state in which the rulers vow to come to each other's aid in a defensive war. When war is declared on either ruler, they will automatically send a call to war to the others, asking them to aid them in the war. Answering this call to war will give the ruler additional grievances to use directly. Rulers may still refuse to accept this call, but will break the defensive pact if they do. It leads to alliance and shared vid vision. Requires peace, requires wizard's bond, requires empire population uh, high. 
I mean, it would be equally good for both of us. So, I'm glad to see the bonds we have forged are stronger, Emperor Bobby Drop Table. Let us work towards a brighter age for both of us. Okay. I mean, you're starting to expand out, which is nice. And also, that puts them between us, so if they were to get a little bit uppity, then we'd be able to pincer. her. Let me know when the Rakshagi has crossed me. Okay, so another person who hates Rakshagi. I could probably make a bunch of friends just by being enemies with Rakshagi at this point. 